Hi everybody and today I am here back with Mix Daily Trading. Let's have fun and let's go. Hi everybody. How is everyone doing today? Uh, create a game. Okay. Okay. So, what's up everyone today? How is everyone doing? Hopefully good. But, yeah. I got an open already and playing AMPTZ. Hello, good luck. He's from. No, I closed his profile. Oh, good luck. Thank you. He's from, I don't know. My chicos, this is your first thing. <clears throat> Hi Logan, how are you? Hi Panda. Hi Karma, how is everyone doing today? I just blizzard. What's up everyone? I mean, this can be an interesting idea, you know? B5? Yeah, that's why he goes A4. Too long until the weekend. True. True. Very true. But it's just five days. Just five and then it's another weekend. Hey, <sighs> best friend. I'm fine, what about you? H3 Okay Makes sense I'll take then I'll go B five. So basically if he takes and he takes then he takes I have Queen E one, Queen C one, Queen C three ideas. And if Queen D one, I don't know. Perhaps like knight A seven or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a wonder though. What is the most important difference between a GM and a Patsy BM? I'm not sure. Uh BM BM is very uh, uh, a person with BM title got too many norm norms, so it's very hard to get norms. Though I think B5 is a mistake most likely. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not, I'm not sure. I don't really know, we'll see. Yeah, there is like 27 or 28 norms. I keep forgetting how many norms there is, but it's like ridiculous amount of norms for BM title, you know? Did I post it? Thanks, 
Also, the following you stay here and have fun, Vagatron. Yeah, he takes. Now, the thing is, he says Queen D1. I'm not sure if I'm like fine there or not. I to let check, are you? Oh gosh. So pretty much I have queen e1, queen d1, queen c3, bishop d2, queen d4, bc, knight e4, threatening mate, if bishop e3, queen b4, he can have king e2, because knight c3, and if knight e4, it goes queen f3, I can take, he takes, and rook a8. Blah. Crazy. Strange position, yeah. The thing is, is there I don't have more than a draw. So either I play that, I risk it, and then he maybe will uh, not go for the draw blunder and I win. Or I play something like, I don't know, knight a7 here, and play without huge risk. Like knight a7, c4, c6, if b6, knight c8, if take, I take knight d4. Uh, I mean, this is this line works. Queen e1, queen c3, queen d4, knight e4, I think. Queen f3, f9, d2, and a very crazy attack, rook a8. Um, but um, maybe it even doesn't work. So I think I'm just gonna stick with normal knight a7, attacking the pawn. And if you go c4, go c6, attacking the pawn once again. And if he takes, I take. I have d4 square, I have a file, I have b file, he hasn't castled yet, I have something. And if he goes b6, I go knight c8, attacking the pawn. And if bishop is 3 I can perhaps like play queen a5, leaving him castleless. Or if he goes bishop g2, I'll just take b6, knight on knight e4, or like knight c5, knight e6, knight e4, and such like that. Ever considered no awareness of rating? I mean, I haven't considered it. Because like, pretty much you always know what your open rating is, so... Sure, it's cool. But like it's it's somewhat nice to know like because you know if you're playing against somebody at lower rated you can allow yourself right playing something goofy you pl can allow yourself playing something goofy and probably get away with it but if you're playing against someone high rated then uh, your goofy stuff won't work so it is nice but I think it is also good to play with rating because you more or less understand what you can and you cannot really do. At least that's my personal opinion. But it is cool, of course. It goes C4, I mean, I think I have to go C6. I'm pretty sure here is a take of b6, though something like bishop d5 is also interesting. Is it just knight d7, bishop e7, rook e8, bishop d6 or something? Okay, he goes here. Knight c8 attacking this. Yeah, this this was likely to happen. At least from on my in my mind, at least like from what I thought he was likely to play. Bishop g2 now was pretty high up the list, to be honest what he'll most likely do unless he changes his mind and plays something else. Yeah, I don't know too. I mean, I didn't see anything else really instead of bishop g2. If not bishop g2, I mean. What else I see? Bishop e3? No, but wait, what's the point? I mean, I can at least check him. Hmm? I mean, at the very, very, very least, I can just check, make him play bishop d2 at least. And then get a queen trade, maybe even. Okay. I don't know why he did it. I guess to develop his bishop? I'm not too sure. I mean, okay, if king e1, if king e2, or king d1, I just take b6. So he has to play bishop d2 now. I don't know. Does he want to perhaps, yeah, he wants to get my, me to take the pawn with my queen, I guess. So then my knight can develop. Uh, that is also poss a possibility. Huh. Interesting. 
what if I take here this? Yes, so king e2, because if queen d1, I take d3. So king e2, I go queen b2. Like knight b6, knight e4, knight c3. Ah, whatever. Looks looks fine to me. So queen b2. He cannot really move any of his pieces. Queen is somewhat stuck there. Bishop can move because of the pin. Rook cannot really go anywhere except like d1, e1, f1. Or c1, but c1 makes no sense. My idea is pretty simple, just get the knight. And like, good scene if we like get all the pieces off, right? All the major pieces. My knights can get like to c5, d4 and they will be pretty strong. So, I'm not sure. I like that. I don't know why he just didn't go bishop g2 to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's a nice idea. To to like set his pieces free, I guess. I'm not sure if that's correct as you can see, but okay. This is b6. Uh, ah, the idea is bishop g5. Knight d7 here. Mm. Then I guess I have to go rook e8. Because I wanted to go knight a4, but then bishop d5 attacking my knight. And uh, perhaps I had something like this. But still, to not allow him bishop e7, winning a pawn, I have to go knight e8, but then he has bishop e7, winning my rook. And as I see, wins a pawn, so... I mean, rook e8 is a fine move, I think, no, no matter what. Now let's go knight a4, I think now I don't wonder anything, yep. Looks quite pretty fine to me. And then I'll get my knight to c5, and then at some point this pawn can be a big weakness. Not, it's not going to be anytime soon, I think, but it can be. Some point of the game, and if he goes like bishop e3, I can go knight c3 and then like queen c2, d3, and he doesn't have rook c1 because knight e2. So interesting. Hmm. Okay, he goes g4. Huh? But like, what's the point? If I go knight d7. And you like voluntarily. He like voluntarily put uh, pushed me into putting one of my knights on e6, and second knight on d4. No, wait, to d4 and c5. Isn't this thing good for me? I'm not sure. Okay, but wait, knight here, bishop h3, and knight d4. And then the idea is knight c5. So then I can attack this. I'm not sure. Or I should play something like bishop to c2, oh, bishop, queen to c2, I mean, sorry. Um, I don't know. I think I'll go knight e6, knight e4, to be honest. I don't know, why not? We'll see. Hi, Darko, how are you? What's up? I'm not really sure, to be honest. <laughs> okay, goes bishop e3. Hey, Andy, what's up? How are you doing, everyone, today? Yeah, maybe I should have actually went um, queen c2 or something, because bishop d3 was knight d3. Okay, but what if I play knight d4? Uh, if he takes, I take and then get my knight to c5, attacking this, and then from the other side coming in to play with my rook. I'll try that. If queen g4, I'll go knight c5, I think it should be fine. But here, yeah, I'm planning to take, and then go like knight c5 and push, put pressure on his d3 weakness. I don't know. And it's an interesting position, no matter. Nonetheless, maybe I should have taken actually with the pawn and a knight e5, so that this would hang and the rook at some point would hang because knight e5 I would attack the queen and the queen had to move and I would get this queen c2 attacking the rook, I'm not sure. But this feels somewhat fine. It's this like perspective, uh, not just like the position looks fine. Sure, the knights were very good, but Unless I messed up really badly, I think he defended pretty well the knights. 
Ah, uh, hold on, but knight c5, does he want to go root b6? But then I get knight d3, knight f4, no? Yeah, knight c5, I'm taking this. But now knight e6, knight f4? Isn't this like a brilliant place for my knight? Huh, he wants to go for queen trade. Queen e3, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, thanks for the following, JSTN. Fun, but I think I'll do 96 no matter what. Thanks for the follow, Fairy7 Yale. I'm pretty sure it'll go Queen E3, and then I'm not too sure what I'll do. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> B6, Rook C, can each two. Whoa! Fairy tale is correct, but okay. Alright, okay, yeah, fairy tale. Yeah. Thanks, and you receive to you give for gifting and tier one sub to Peshka is the best. Alright, yeah. I, I usually like I understand this right with numbers instead of letters. I understand that stuff, but I usually uh read um unless per the person says I usually read it with numbers. But as you said it's fairy tale, then I'll read fairy tale. No worries yeah but now my knight is like perfect here my idea was rook a8 so after this i go rook a1 trade in the rooks off and then queen d4 and my knights and queen just block all of his pieces so i think it looks good at least to me maybe i'm missing something though yeah rook a1 and then d3 how will he protect d3 i'm not sure and then these two belong as well i think um I have queen f1, but there he has d4. I think I'm just gonna go queen d4. Queen f1 was really tempting, but queen d4 is fine as well. So pretty much I think... Oh wait, he has queen g4. Blah. And he didn't play that. Queen g4 was a nice move, which I think we both missed. Or so maybe he saw it, but he didn't play it. Uh, he'd see, he'd seen it, but he saw it, but he didn't play it. <laughs> um, queen g4, scary. Maybe I should play g6. Yeah, right. No, but queen g4 is not an option. I think I'll just play g6 now. So now if queen g4, I, if queen g4, I just have queen f2 and I'm fine. Um, my, I could have taken, but then you'd get queen g4 with mate threats. So I decide to be safe because this pawn will never run away, will never run anywhere. So my idea is just to keep it calm and perhaps stick with my queen and then take queen g4, then go like king g7, and maybe something like that. But I'm not too sure. Or maybe go like queen d4. Or queen of one threatening and mate. We'll see. Yeah, yes, Bishop of I guess, but we'll see. Or just play king g7, because as I said, the pawn will never run away. Um, and slowly. So it's just playing them. Yeah. I found your channel kind of impressed to see. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Okay, king g3. Now I can take d3 without worrying, I think. And I will. Just, like, I'll, I'll get my knight on f4. So, like, he pretty much cannot really do anything, I think. And then I'll get an outside passer. So, f6, takes, takes. h6, g5, this, get pawn here, knight there. Um, 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 um. Yeah, g5. Okay, he takes, but I take h5, h4. h5, h4. Okay, now, um, maybe h4 wasn't too good, though. Uh, yeah, it was maybe a mistake, actually. Because there I had king h4 at some point. Hold on, it's fine, still 40 seconds. Just make some moves, I don't know. Hold on, I just gotta... There he hold. Oh gosh, I need to make moves. Oh gosh, yeah, I thought for too much. Let's go around the vault. Wait, why didn't I think about it? Just go around the vault with my kin. Wow. 
Yeah, I should have found it much faster. I messed this up. But okay, the three MPTs that I messed up in time travel. I, I I just couldn't. Have, I didn't have much time to think. It was like easily winning. Yeah, I was crushing. And then knight c5, I messed up. Yeah, I just should have shouldered him. And then this, I, I thought he would go king. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's terrible. I thought he would go king h5. Then I would play king f4, and then I would be winning. I just missed king g5. Um, but then he tried to flag me. Uh, he tried to flag me, and then he went on to lose. Uh, GG, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's in game. Yeah, I, I loved how I played, to be honest. To be completely honest, I love how I played. 95 was a blunder. Yeah, I don't know what took me so long just finding this plan. Just go in on dark squares, uh, by dark squares with my king. Just go, go. Just go, and that's all. I mean, I'm completely winning. Just king d4, and on ad3, and what happened in the game, right? I don't know. I saw for like a minute trying to find it, I didn't find it. Uh, and then I found king of six, knight of four. And then I'm totally winning. Yeah, I wasn't sure about this. I thought he would take. I was just a little worried about take e5, but come on, just king e4 here. And I was simply winning. I wanted to go for it, uh, but then I was just terrified of f4. So I decided to be safe playing knight d3. Uh, yeah, again, knight f4, knight d5. This is this, and you just play king of four, knight, knight f2 then. I'm just completely easily winning. But then I messed up. Then he was very drawn, but he didn't really want a draw, he blundered a pawn, then he blundered, and yeah. But, interesting game, to be honest. Cornelio, okay, one second, what's your IGN on leeches, Cornelio? Um, hello, he tried to flag it, doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, he tried. So wait, was bishop? Okay, actually, funnily enough, no, no, nobody actually played this. Uh, nobody actually played this. After, okay, wait, a4, but nobody played this. But funnily enough, b5 was the best continuation. I'm not sure about uh, bishop e3, I don't know why he just didn't go bishop d2. But this is this, yeah, I got slightly better. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely, I played extremely, extremely well. I mean, like, first uh, 50 moves I played nil, nil, nil or something. Yeah, first 50, first 47 moves I played nil, nil, nil. Right, one mistake was playing h4. I should have left space. Um, no, but it was very terrible that I just didn't see the skin of 6 idea. Um, I was very bad. Uh, and then I still played 4 nil 2 And then I just messed up with this knight c5, this. And now he takes, he wins. It's still a draw, uh, because I have simplification. But, yeah, this and I cannot take, because then he goes skinny 6 and that's a draw. Uh, okay, that was a good game, but I'm really like, somewhat disappointed with the realization part. How? Why didn't I just take? I was like, I, I saw this and he just wins, uh, but I just have king form. I missed super simple continuation. Uh, I even saw for four seconds. Uh, Cornelio, what is your user on Lee Chess or on Chesscom? Where would you like to play? But I liked how I played first 50, well, almost 50, 47 moves nil, nil, nil. I played very perfectly. Um, I really like, I played thematically, so pretty much right, um, about good squares for my pieces, after I found my good, squ good squares for my pieces, I put my pieces on good squares, yeah, this is this, then I put this great, great block against this pawn, I sucked a pawn, but it wasn't really long term, and then right, g takes f, yeah, he should have kept it, he should have played king g3, it would be drawn, then he took, then I created outside pass, I played like perfectly, perfectly, and yeah, just played king f6, I, I spent so, so, so much time, um, and I found this maneuver, then I could even play like super safe, you know, just play h3, and now go king e3, and then I'm still most likely totally winning, yeah, and then I, I played terribly through the advantage, yeah, just king f4, 
Uh, according to the 90 right, I'll challenge you in a second. He just played in a 4GG, but in 5 5 5 3 and he tried to flag me, at least from what I thought. I don't know why he went king, e, king of 6 instead of king e6. King e6, easy draw. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so, excellent game review, thank you. Cornelio93. Cornelio... Oh, no, wait. Cornelio... Hold on. No, why, why am I saying Cornelio... Cornelio73. Okay. Uh, 3 plus 0. Random site. And good luck. Good luck. I will... After the game, I'm gonna redeem... Uh, and get the points from you. Hello, good luck. I'm playing with black pieces and let's go. He's from Romania. Good luck. Mm, I think I'm gonna go 96. And go focus you. Okay, let's go e6. And d5. I think that's what computer recommends. Get knight e6 and then d5. If I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Queen d8. Should d6 can take and then d4 I think okay but this he gave me time to castle mm, let's go bishop d4 okay I'll take uh, I'll take and then get my knight to d4 blunder the pawn to be honest yeah he didn't see it the pawn was hanging c2 wasn't hanging because the bishop was protected now I think I'm gonna go b5 then take and then go rook a d8 attacking this pawn. I'm not sure if I'm gonna rush taking it because the pawn won't go anywhere. Maybe I'll actually play like queen d5 or something. I'm not sure if that's a good move either, but whatever. Yeah, probably I should, just should have taken. Um, I'll try f5. Try like attack in his position, and also I think it's good to play f5 because after rook c1 I get rook f7 protecting the c7 pawn. And also knight h4 is a threat, you won't have queen d4 anymore. So I think I'm doing pretty good, let's play rook f7. Okay, I'm gonna go knight g4, forcing him to play f3, at least provoking him. Yeah. Provoking slash forcing, I think. Hold on, rook d6, bishop g5. If I take, take, and then rook g6. Rook g6, g5 hangs. Oops, g5 hangs, he goes h4. Here, 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 take a 4. I'm better, but I don't think it's worth it. Why can I go f4? Yeah, just f4, just shut the bishop down. Ah, that. What am I doing? Okay, rook a 5. The pawn isn't hanging anymore, so now my rook is free protecting this pawn. Uh, rook g5 attacking this pawn, and knight f3 is a threat as well. Because if he takes, I take. He cannot take my queen because it's a pin. Uh, he took. I, th I have a feeling it can't be good. I think I just have knight f3. Because if he takes, takes, I'm winning. And otherwise, okay, he took, but then I take, and then, as I said, yeah, he cannot take because it's a pin. He has to go rook c2, but yeah, rook e8, I think I should be able to win this. Rook e8, pinning the bishop, so the bishop, bishop can move. Yeah, that's a nice move. So queen g3. Okay, and maybe it's not super best by computer, but I think I'm going to take, because if he takes its mid, and if d takes, he'll go f3, attacking the rook and the pawn. And I think it is maybe not the best by computer, but at least it's very practical. Queen h2, once again, he cannot take us of the pin. My idea is rook g2, and then rook g2, queen g2. So pretty much he has nothing, he has this. And mate on the next move, another game, Cornelio. Good game! You played very well, actually. Uh, yeah, the only thing I think you had to take on b7. Even rook e5 instead of rook e8 to make it simple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I saw tricky five. All right, tricky five. No wait, tricky five. GF. Yeah, right. I win a rook. True. 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 GG. GG. Cornelio, you played extremely well. Uh, you played very nice, and I'm proud how you played. To be honest, very very nice. Complete. Complete. Yeah. Swiss queen up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I messed up. Okay. Ha. Ah, so when. 
when I play bishop b7, computer says I have to play d5, and now when I play d5, computer says I have to go uh, uh, bishop b7. Cool. Yeah, so take, yeah, you have to take, and then really nice menu uh, trick is you have knight e5, and then after bishop e5, d6, I cannot move the bishop because it's a pin, and then takes, takes, and you end up a pawn up. And it would be better. A3, knight d6 in accuracy. Right, yeah, I think your knight was very good, so you probably should have just taken on c6 first, and then just play h3 forcing me to take, and your knight is very good. I have a weak pawn, so you would be better, slightly better. This knight d4 was in accuracy, right, I'd go for b5, and then probably this would transpose into the game, because out here, as I said, yeah, you have queen b7, and c2 doesn't, so you're better. Uh, at least slightly better, you're pawn up. And here you go to c3, really nice move. Somewhat forcing my knight back. Um, a j4 and it would be equal. Uh, and uh, if I take, you take. Uh, and then I take, you take. And it's equal. If I take with the queen, you have this. I take in that. And if you move for this, you have queen e4 and it's equal. Okay, this is this. Bishop d2 was in accuracy, right? You go for f3. Bishop d2, I didn't really like the move as well. Yeah, f, uh, f3. Because if f3, then you could perhaps put the bishop on f2. Because d2, the knight h4, and queen e2 was a blunder, you have to go for king h1 to leave up the room for your rook. And then you would be, it, you would have chances. Yes, queen e2, rook d5, and then knight f3. And then I went on to win pretty quickly. But still, very good game. Thank you, Cornelio. Congratulations for receiving uh, uh, 15,000 Twitch channel points uh, as well. Yeah, I don't know. I can't speak today, funnily enough. Uh, but yeah, congrats and good game. Now let's solve puzzles. I'm pretty sure it's this puzzle. Maybe not this puzzle exactly, but something super similar. Um, I don't know. Queen e2 is like the only move, I think, isn't it? Because if rook d4 yes, rook, yeah, I mean, I have to take it and take it, and I have to think. After a few minutes of watching, I won't start streaming in English, and of course I'm afraid, but we'll practice. Yeah, practice. Practice, may, practice make it, makes it perfect. I know. I'm, I'm lagging today. <laughs> so you take the rook, what we think? Then we think? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, otherwise there is nothing, because rook of two is possible for him, so I have to take the rook. You know what? You start streaming. It, it all everything will be good. Just practice, and you'll be good. <sighs> Bishop of seven is tempting. Take the pawn and then think. You know, as they say. Uh huh. Okay. It's actually. <laughs> it's actually that, and now. Now perhaps it is rook e4, rook f4. Yes, queen d8. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. King g3. No, king g3, he has knight e2. And if I take, he has queen f1. Wow. Wait a sec. But this. And if knight e2 I take, and if he takes here, and if queen of six I take and win, and king g5 that's made. Hold on, maybe that's correct. But the, I think the thing is, he has queen c6 attack in the rook, and queen g2 is his threat. That's probably why this doesn't work. But I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Rook e4, why do you like rook e4, queen d8? Practice makes perfect, but don't listen to the computer because sometimes gives D5 as the best move. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Very, very good point, Vampire Rage. Extremely good point. Uh, King G3, Queen C6 is annoying. Yeah, I'm not sure what is the correct move then, actually. <laughs> Too much calculator resign, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I won't resign, I'll try to solve the puzzle. I mean, no, that can be winning. Is technically queen c6, rook f4, queen e8, bf7? Is this endgame after king f4 winning, technically? 
like C4. It's a pawn about the pawn is double. Now it can be that, can it? This would be very weird if it would be that. Hold on, wait. This, this, and then rookie one. I took in f4. Yeah, whatever. I'll, 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 I'll. Can you see? Yeah, okay, nice. That was, an, in, that was an interesting puzzle, to be honest. Let's fight for a draw. Rook d. No, you meant rook e6, right? Or did you mean rook d6? I have my rook on e8. Hold on, so first thing which comes to mind, take the queen, but then you think he has knight g3 and then rook e7. Yeah, rook e6, yeah. Very intuitive. True, yeah. Very unintuitive to attack with your king, uh, to advance your king. I think the move is bishop e3. I'm pretty sure I had this puzzle. And it's bishop e1. No, not bishop e3, bishop e1, I mean. Attacking this. Yes, and now this hangs. I remember the move was like kind of stupid, if I'm not mistaken. It's like very counterintuitive. Oh, wait, queen d4. Yeah, queen d4, that wasn't stupid at all. Uh, I don't know why I thought it was stupid. Uh, and now bishop h4, perhaps? Or something else? I don't know. Karma, did you solve your daily puzzle? Rook h... what do you mean? No, rook h7? No, no, no. Rook h7? No, he just has a lot of stuff. I don't know, he can take... There we get made it, yeah. I solved a lot. Good job, Karmar. Oh, yeah, but we, he has queen f4. So, okay, bishop b4 doesn't work because of queen f4. He, we probably get made it. And I won the rapid game. Great job, Karmar. Nice. Good job. GG. This is somewhat tempting, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure. Ugh. Just take the knight. Yeah, but rook c2 there. Not sure. Like queen g1, king h8, didn't see them win. Unfortunately. Hmm. <laughs> I just take the knight and rookie one. Okay, this puzzle was like... No. Yeah, th that's why it was counterintuitive. Thanks for the follow, Caleb McLean. Enjoy staying here and have fun. Yeah, we, t we just took the knight, but the wrong knight, unfortunately. But it's all counterintuitive. Just walk into queen of two and yeah, but then it makes sense. Okay, so bishop h3 doesn't work because he gets knight g4 mate. So most likely it is f5 and then after rook f5, rook d6, maybe bishop h3. And that knight, of course. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. Oh, it has to be f5, no? I'm take that mate. So you just escape and escape. That was simple. No, but okay, it's king h2. <laughs> queen h4 or queen h3 eh I'm not sure both have pros and cons like the good thing about queen h4 is I protect f4 good thing about queen h3 I protect g2 and I protect no wait and I protect D C but F O is in the air. So I'm not sure. What else do I have? Queen E three perhaps? Queen E three? That looks brilliant. That was Queen H one. Okay, yeah, Queen E three I played it. <laughs> Wasn't it unfortunately? <sighs> Q4 
queen c8, a queen c8 is rook e6, well, and this, this, queen c2, check, if king f4 I go bishop c1, I take, I'm winning, if queen e5 I go here, there bishop c1, I'm winning, so, queen c1, king e5, I have queen e8, I take, I'm winning, so this, most likely it'll go king f4, uh, fourth line is this, 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 it goes king f3, I take, I don't take tf, f8 on here, uh, and then I'll like go a4, create an outside passer, he plays king e4, I go like king g3, king d5, f4, that looks winning. What now? Ah, queen. I wasn't queen before. Ah, bishop d6, queen d3, queen e3. Okay. <sighs> so wait, queen e1, queen e1, king c2, forced, queen b1. Queen b1 forcing king, king c3 doesn't work because queen b2 made so forcing queen d2, king d2. Uh, then c3, knight c3, rook b2, I'm winning. But if c3 is yes, king c3, queen, queen b2, king d3, rook b3, that doesn't look good. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oops, king d2 here, here. But rook b3, king c4 is there. And it doesn't feel too good. Huh. Queen one to start instead. Interesting. Well, let's see. Queen e1. If king c2, rook b2, king c3, queen here, king c4, queen b3, king c5, queen b4 mate. Right? I didn't miss anything. Yeah, that is mate. So queen e1, he's forced to go king d2. Um, and then. I mean, cool queen knight doesn't work. Wait, does it? I don't, I'm not sure. Rook b2, he's forced to go bishop c2, of course. Um, but I don't know what's next. Maybe just queen e4? I don't know. Take c2 and queen a2. But doesn't he have like king d1 there? Maybe c3 was discovered. Maybe. But he has knight c1. Wait, so yeah, take and then queen a2. King c1? Queen a1, he just comes back? Or if he wants to play for win, queen d1, queen here, king e1, he's fine. And queen b1, knight c1? I'm not sure. I mean, it looks very interesting, but I'm not sure if it's correct. Rook b3, no, rook b3, maybe? No, I don't think rook b3 is correct. Doesn't look convincing. Yeah, exactly. It looks promising, but not convincing enough, as you said. <laughs> but queen e1, king c2, queen b1, king d2. Do I have anything there? Rook b2, king c3? Oh, it can't be, can it? I don't know. It's interesting, but I don't think it's good though. Rook b3 to start things off? Rook b3 to start things off, Call, hold on. If, 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 if. King d2, I go, no, I don't know, this puzzle is difficult, ah, this puzzle hurts, just don't know, just didn't see the solution. Or do I just, no, I'll try it. I was looking for and look here. Oh my god, mating two. Okay, we don't talk about that. No, it was queen one, I just missed rook c2, queen b4. 
I just like saw half the puzzle, or even more than half of the puzzle, but I just missed the last two moves. Unbelievable. Wait, isn't it just... Queen e1, king h2, g5? About what? Yeah, nothing, nothing. Idea, if he takes bishop e5, queen g3 and this, he has queen f3. Huh. Yeah, how did I miss mating too? I don't know, that's crazy. G5, queen f3. G5, queen f3, bishop e5, g3, bishop h5. Yes, queen g2, f4. Oh god. Or do I go bishop h5? Should I go bishop h5 first? It was bishop e5 first, come on! Oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Let's see, rook d8, f3. Six. Mm. Ah, these puzzles. I'm slowly going insane. They're like sometimes they sometimes like some puzzle is thirty seven hundred treated, but it's like easy, and some puzzle just drives you insane. <sighs> I mean, I see something. For example, this f3, queen e6, bishop f4, queen e3, being fancy schmancy. But like at the same time, what is the difference between queen e6 and queen e7? Let's be honest. Perhaps queen e6, I have queen a2. And queen e8 is even there. Queen e6, rook e1, queen e3, he takes, and king f1, I think he escapes. But what if queen e6, I go queen a2? Oh, this has to be correct. And then I take, finally, after four failed in a row, finally, oh gosh, oh no! Oi, oi, oi. Oh my goodness, no. Why? He was gonna say that's so cool. Yeah, that was a nice puzzle. I liked it. <laughs> it was interesting. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I love fun games. But I don't know what the solution is. <laughs> Um, um, um. Oh, this is going to hurt a little bit. Hi, Evan, what's up? How are you? How are you doing? Making my day, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I can make your day. Um. I'm chilling, that is very good. <sighs> what is the solution though? <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> now what is the solution? Oh my goodness, there's skin G2, there's skin H2. Maybe I actually just don't care and push or take B7. Oof. Yeah, 
interesting idea would be if say my rook was on e6 and his pawn was on b6 i take he goes rook h1 i go king g2 he moves his rook like rook b5 rook h3 i'm not telling that it works but it would be interesting i think okay I don't know. To be completely honest, I don't know. I have some guesses what it can be, but to be honest, it's not really even. Mm, I don't know. Oh, wait, what if this can you do knife root D two? I think I do. But rook d7, king e3, king g2, rook a2, king h3, rook a1, rook e7. I don't know. So I take and then. I don't know, to be honest. What do I do? <laughs> Rook F7. So then I okay. Um, <laughs> nah. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that was, that was difficult. I mean, I thought about something like that as an idea, but still. Yeah, this was a hard one. Hold on, am I winning here? Uh, so, okay, if king e4, if g4, king e4, g3, king of stage 4, I'm winning. g4, this I'm winning. This take, take, king e4, only way to stop my point. King g5, king g3, king h4, uh, king e2, king h3, uh, king f4, no, that has to be right. And now g Oh my goodness, it's king g5. Mm, I love puzzles. How how am I solving? Like I'm missing such such simple tactics today. In OTB I played like a perfect game, but then I almost threw it. I played so thematical. I played so perfectly, then I threw now the same. What what am I doing? Endgame puzzles, yeah. No, but I'm just throwing so hard. It's just... I know, F4. Wow. I, I guess the first move. Quite surprising, to be honest. I take FG. Wow! I solved the puzzle, guys. Big surprise. Big, big, big surprise. Puzzles from centuries pretend train now reminds well the joy was. Yep. Very true. Wait, can I just play queen e3 trading the queens off? No? Because his knight hangs if he doesn't trade queens. Okay. I mean, some puzzles are as simple as that, you know? Some puzzles are so ridiculously easy. You just open it and you already open the next one because you already solved the puzzle because it was that simple. And some puzzles, I better don't please rook g two. Yeah, I'm calculating rook g two, king g two, bishop h three, king h one, queen f three, queen g two. I win and king g two. I have rook g eight, king h one, same thing. So yes, we go queen g three, take, and then most likely somewhere there I am should be winning. 
Um, but thanks for following GST here and have fun. Thanks, Diabluco. Thank you for the follow. But the thing which concerns me is skin H1. I'm just trying to find uh, if I'm winning for sure there or not. Um, just trying to find the exact way to win if there is one. Hi, Diabluco. How are you? Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome to the channel. Or should I go Queen F3? Rook H2, but try it. Rook H2, but Rook H2, Queen H2. And what do I do? My Queen hangs. And as I see, it's Queen G2, so I'm not too sure. I'm thinking maybe it is Queen F3. Uh, straight in my Queen G2. And if G3, I go Bishop H1. And if he checks me, I go King C8. And he has no checks, funnily enough. Uh, so this, this. G3, this that should be winning. Sure, yeah, this was King C8, he still has no checks. Knight E5, King C8, no checks. Knight E5, King C8, no checks. So, Queen of 3. Knight E5, uh, sorry, yeah, it has to be Queen of 3. And then King C8, and then I just take. Okay. Okay, so 6 correct and uh, 2, 6 failed. But I lost some rating. Wasn't, oh no, a 7 failed. Yeah, I'm not too happy with puzzle solving today. But okay. Here's check on H8. Take with Queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, blindfold chess. Let's go. The chess TV. Uh, 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 this one. Okay. This uh, level seven. Let's go. It's a white pieces. G six. Let's go for kid. Oh, he goes good. In, no, he doesn't go good in front. Okay, yes, he does. Okay, kid. Ah, this kid. C5 would be good though. I go C5. This guy is annoying. Queen C2. I guess I'll go D5. I guess I'll try. I like have zero idea with how you play this position. Uh, but I guess I'll try. I don't know. I like I know that you play D5 with idea of B4, but after A5, I just don't know what to play to be honest. I guess a3 with idea of b4. I don't know. Any kid experts, don't judge me. I am not a professional in this type of lines, please. So yeah, please do not judge me. I think I'm gonna take it on b4. I don't know, he'll get a good outpost, but whatever. Mm, yeah, so my idea is b4 is that he takes, he goes knight b3, then knight d4, but I think I should be fine. Yeah, what's up, Diablo Kwa? Hi, hi, how are you? What's up, any question? Oh no. Okay, 91. Let's move my knight. I think that's what you do sometimes in this type of stuff. Okay. Rook trade, question mark? I think he has to, no? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and then I go knight d3, he gets a 5, I get a 4. I'm trying to play in queen side, he tries to play in king side, right? Oh no. Yeah, I think I play f3 if I'm not mistaken. I can very well be mistaken here. And then I take. Why did he take? Doesn't he usually try to mate me? In king side? Ah, he's going for an endgame. I'll take with the bishop so my queen is on the a file. This. I play in blind. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, I'm playing blindfolded. You can see the board here. I cannot see anything here. Um. So, yeah. Should be two. I'm not sure if I should play c5 because it somewhat gives him a target on e3. Perhaps I should play c5 and then take, but I'm thinking about bishop e2 as well, and I'm not sure if bishop e2 as well is a good move. Uh, I think I'll do it, but it feels like a waste of, temp of time, you know? But like c5, bishop e6 as well. Then no. Hmm. Is knight b5 an option, perhaps? Or should I risk c5? I don't know. I'm thinking like knight b5, queen a5 idea attacking this, you know? Hi Marco, how did you do? Did you, did you win? How did you play today? What's up? Knight b5, knight b5, I don't know. It looks cool. I finished. Let's go. I told you will crush you open. Nice. Let's go, Marco. GG's. Told you you'll crush him. Nice. 
Good job. Great job, Marco. Nice. Congrats. Tennis is very good. Great job, Marco. Good job. Nice. Thanks. And you're welcome. Nice. I'm happy. Very cool. I think I'll go bishop b2. With knight b5 ideas. Because bishop b6, I can go like here, you know? And then like maybe c5. Maybe if he does nothing, then I go like queen a8. I don't know. Or I just go knight b5. And I just gifted a tier one sub to Marco. Thank you so much, and you gift her. Thank you. Yeah, but Marco, good job. Gain 70 feed rating. Congratulations, Marco. Great, great success. Nice. Congrats. Very nice result, to be honest. I think I'll play queen e7. I'm not sure if it's a good move or not. But I'll go for it. Sure, he'll play queen g5. No, he plays king g7. Okay. Yeah, grazia. Congrats, Marco. Great job. And now, I somewhat thought, I'm not sure if I should play knight b5. Putting pressure on the c7 pawn and if c6 these things. And if this I just take and if maybe 6 I go c5. So I think I'll play it. It looks fine. Hi Bill and Chess, how are you doing? You'll be 13, 20. Nice. Nice, 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 Marco. Slowly, slowly but surely you're making the steps in the right direction. Great job. Queen e5 attacking here, I'm not sure. Check. Can I have one? Yeah, 170. Wow! That is impressive, Marco. Congrats, wow. Yeah, that's amazing, Marco. Great result. Congratulations. F 1933, that's good, Diablo. Also very good. Is he fine as he drew? Because I am. Okay, if you'll take the draw, I'll take the draw. I'm fine. King h6? Are you serious right now, man? King h6? <laughs> so you really, you really don't want to draw and you play king h6? Are you, are you fine? This move even looks terrible, to be honest. What is king h6? He lets me see, he used me c5, I don't know. Hmm. So hold on, does c5 work? D C P C knight c5, f95, don't I? Take, 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 knight e5, threaten in a4, ah, e4 rings. So I don't really think I do. I mean, I do, but I don't think it's really good, you know? Um, I don't know what I should play, to be honest. Should I just go like bishop c3? Just to make a move? To protect the pawn as well? I guess I'll do it. G5. What am I throwing? I thought I have h3, g4 take, but he just... Am I throwing? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. That's important. c5, take, 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 knight e5. Attacking. Let's write in knight f7. And c8 is in the air. Uh, if c5, take, take. Uh, g4, I'm not scared, but what if he goes bishop c5? Um, then, then I think I can take, take, knight a7. And then the bishop hangs. And then g4, just take c8. Or go bishop two. Yeah, I think I'll go c5. I'm not sure. Hi, Telmus, what's up? One time to see. How are you doing? Marco is here as well. What's up, everyone? Yes, yeah, so this I thought I will take on e5. Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, playing kid against stockfish is probably not the smartest decision. I just go skin h7. Wait, so you're telling me just see play skin h7 and he's fine? Huh. Interesting, to be honest. Very interesting. Are you sure? Yes, he's sure. Well, that looks crazy. Should I go d6? Hold on. So the thing is... Oh no, my night hangs. I'm doing well. That is very, very good to hear, Telmus. Nice. Very, very good to hear. Wait, did I consider knight a7 already? If he takes take, if he does something, I think I should be fine now. What is the position of my knight? This is okay. 
Time is an issue to be honest. Ah, so knight e7, tick, tick. If my knight there, if queen d6, knight f7. Queen, yeah, I think I'll go knight a7, not sure. Yeah, he took. Queen f8. Right, but here I can play h3 and then take. I th at least I think so. Not sure though. Oh gosh, time. Wait, I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna be a pawn down. So should I just play. I don't know. I think I will just play. I'm not sure. Yeah, this. I mean, I have to take. Now I have to quickly decide whether. Oh, wait, he goes queen of six. Oh wait, is he forcing me draw? Oh, draw. I'm. I mean, I'm happy. I, I'm, I'm not complaining about a draw. I thought he was trying to push all the time, to be honest. Okay! I mean, playing like actual King's Indian with some crazy B4 stuff for the first time against level 7 blindfolded and drawing? I'm happy. I'm very happy. You know? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, he was better here. If he, king h7 was a mistake, then he got knight a7 and it was a draw. I don't know why he didn't try hg though. Uh, hg? Right, I wasn't sure whether the bishop or the knight. Okay, apparently with the knight is better, so he has the bishop. I was somewhat terrified of this. It's my bishop, but... Ah, uh, wait, here I'm lost by go king g1, makes sense. And he just decided to to happy draw versus monster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was slightly better. d5 was a... Here d5 is a mistake. Okay. And then I mean I played well. I had to take with the knight, he says. And then c5 in action to go for knight e7 immediately, makes sense. Uh and then here go for king g7 it would be better and then draw. So it's 3 nil nil and he played one nil nil, I'm very happy. Another game against MPTZ in Slife opening six one two for him and four nil two for me. I mean I'm like happy with the game and I'm I'm very I'm very like disgusted about the game as well. So he started off in English. Uh, yeah, I played the language I haven't really played that before. He had to go bishop g2 here. I took. Uh, and then played b5. It's an interesting line. Computer agrees that it's fine. So the thing is, I suck a pawn, but then I go knight a7. And c4, c6. If he, t if he would take, I would take in like queen a1, knight d4, rook b8, I, would, I think I would be better, at least plus one. Yeah, about plus one. Uh, he played b6, knight c8, attacking the pawn. He played bishop b3, protecting the pawn. I'm not sure. If I'd be him, I'd play bishop g7, actually. The computer says h4, bishop h3, I guess. But I'd play bishop g2 and just castle. Because this, he gave me time. Um, then this bishop g2, I checked, and queen b2. He hasn't castled, so now he has to spend a lot of time trying to manu castle manually. Uh, I did this after Drew Kid. I really wanted to go knight e4, but then I didn't like bishop g5. And the thing is, if that bishop e7, I take in this and that. Computer says I have this knight e3, I'm fine. But I decided to play rook e8. Uh, this knight e4 and g4 was in the next year to go for bishop c1. Uh, and yeah, he just would prevent me playing anything and then start an attack on king side, and he would be fine. Uh, knight f4, g4. I played knight c5 and then knight fd7. So my idea was to get one knight to d4, another knight to c5, just dominate very good squares. He played h4, knight d6, bishop b3. He prevent knight d4, I still played it. This is rook b1, knight c5. Uh, I attack that. Uh, to be honest, I thought he would play queen. No, I wouldn't. No, wait, 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 wait. I thought he would play queen e3 here. And I thought I would do something like this, but then I was sure he would be fine. Uh, this is. Right, wait, no, or oh, here I thought you would play bishop e3, queen e3, so that I have to go c5 and then take cd, I would be slightly better, uh, and then knight on f4, and the thing is why I take with c pawn and put knight on f4, that e5 pawn uh, holds the knight, and this one is a huge weakness, and he can move the bishop, the, either, uh, or the bishop or the king, and uh, pretty much he will be stuck here forever, and I would be better, slowly but surely, I think I should win. Uh, but he played bishop h3, 
I play knight of four, sack three pawn, but it was a little short term sack. Um, I traded the rooks and queen d4. My queen knight got really great squares, and like all of his pawns are a weakness. And if d3 pawn falls, and c4 and e4 is a weakness as well, I totally do know what's up. Uh, he played bishop d5, play g6 with the idea of king g7. King g3 now traded queens. Uh, and now gf4 is a mistake, yes, he had to go for king g3, it still would be completely drawn, and I couldn't win that because uh, if I take. Pretty much, let's say if I take, he takes, h6 you can just take and get most like, okay, king g4 with f4 ideas, it would be just dead draw. Uh, but he played g takes f this, then I played really well, I created an outside passer. The position now was similar to some sort of Marat C bind stuff. Did h6 even happen? h6 has happened uh, in the beginning somewhere. h6 happened on move 43. And I also played. I also played a6 on move eight. So everything. Yeah, I played by your advice. And this is. I played very well. This has got some sort of Marty one position. Uh, h4. This here. So like at 50 seconds, I saw 23 of them. About 93. I just repeat the position. And I saw like six, uh, 10 more. So I was left with 16 seconds. And I made a blunder. Okay, computer says yeah. I just had to go king of six. And then, just go around with my king, I'm totally winning. Uh, he played king e3, which was a blunder, he'd go for king g2. And now the thing is, why knight h5 was a blunder, because knight f4, that's h3 fault. And otherwise he gets his king to h3, and I cannot break through, really. Because no matter what I do, he just, yeah, he's fine. I just could have, should have, like, moved my, yeah, but he would have been drawn. He played king e3, I got king of, I found king of 6 finally. Uh, I move my king around. I'm totally winning. Yeah, bishop d5, and actually I go for bishop of 7. I calculate knight d5, but I don't know why I was terrified that this is winning. But I just have king e4, and if he takes, I take this, I'm winning. Uh, so knight d5, I'm just totally winning. That would be game over. And I just, yeah, completely winning this. I had to go for knight d4, and again take d5, and I would reach game over. Uh, knight d4 <coughs> would be, it was a neck, uh, king of c was the next, so I'd go for uh, knight d4, and then take, and if you take e, d, I would have this yeah it, it was sticky with his breakthrough stuff you know but it's just terrible how i missed king e4 and knight e4 was a blind and go for king e4 then knight e5 and then i would be winning i thought knight e5 he's forced to go king h5 then i would uh, play this this and i'm winning but he had king g5 <coughs> and it was draw i had six seconds versus 25 i just removed with my knight and here i think he decided to be cocky and try to flag me at five seconds versus 12 uh and he went king of six instead of just king e6 or king e7 with dead draw with a um, very, very simple draw. Wait, but why did I take this pawn all the time? I don't know what's going on with me. I thought if I take the pawn that somehow he gets this pawn and he's drawn. But it's not a draw. So he wasn't even being cocky. No, it's, yeah, something was wrong with me this game. And Kingston was a blunder, I'd go for bishop uh, And he still would be draw, I couldn't make any progress. Uh, and then, yeah, because he blunt 95, then I finally took, play d4, and then he ran out of time, but I was two moves away from me, winning over the name AMPTZ. It just got king of 6. I don't know. I mean, I was like extremely happy. I played so thematically, right? Just just put your pieces on good squares, play positionally, slowly, but you only win. Create outside passer and win. I did a lot. But then I played so terribly, I spent all of my time, I had no time left, and I almost lost because of that. Um, and, well, not lost, I mean, I almost lost on time, but I almost drew the game. Uh, so, yes, first moves were fine. A4 was good. This, this was a mistake for me, I go for bishop g2, and he would be slightly better. Yeah, I really love this b5. Uh, I was considering queen e1, but I think queen e1 was in, an inaccuracy. Did this work actually? I think queen d4. Yeah, it actually did work. Yeah, so queen e1, I have very cool force draw. Don't blame yourself with misses when you're five seconds slow. No, but uh, I'm not blaming the miss. Sure, sure, it's fine. I miss. Uh, uh, sure, it's fine. Hi, Uh I'm, I'm, I'm just blaming how I played so impractically. Out of 50 seconds, I, I spent 34 on just nothing, on just a blunder. That was just ridiculous. But pretty much, yeah. That was instead of knight e7 playing for a win, there was a cool move. Queen e1. And now he's forced to go queen e1, otherwise I'm worse. 
Hi, Johnny, thank you. And then I have queen c3, bishop d2, queen d4, b takes c, knight e4. And, that, and he has to force a draw because I'm starting queen of two, right? Uh, if he goes queen of three or something, that's a blunder because either I play queen e1, computer suggests, but or I take and rook a8, which I thought is better, but he has uh, king two and he escapes. So apparently I have to go queen e1 and after king e2. Now I get this and then I get rook eight and I'm winning. Makes sense. Uh, but the thing is, is that after knight e4, he doesn't play queen of three, he goes bishop e3, and then I go queen b4. And then he has to repeat, and I also have to repeat, and it's a draw, because if he goes skinny two, then I have knight three, and I win. So, yeah, I saw this line, but I understood that if he if he isn't trying to lose, he'll just force a draw, and I have no chances of winning. So I decided to play knight a7, I buy the book of the elephant gambit. Great. I played c6 this, uh, b6 this, and yes, this was an inaccuracy. That was actually... Very bad move, practically. Yeah, he'd go for h4, and if I would take, go like bishop h3, and then, and so I wouldn't have knight bd7. But still, yeah, I have it, but it's just not as good, and then just bishop b3 is just drawn. Just he gets more space, and his bishop on h3 is much better. Bishop b3 well, wasn't practical, because I checked him. This is, now when he tries to develop, I check him, and he has no castle. After queen b2, this, knight b6, knight a4. Okay, that was the next day I had to go for 94, but I liked how I played practically this. I just played it very well. Very cool. Uh, very well and very cool. Bishop here, this, 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 rook 8. I sacrifice a pawn, but my knight and a queen is such a great blockade piece. This pawn can, can go anywhere. I trade, and now, like, sure. Computer sees that uh, that is just a terrible, terrible blunder. Just as King G3 and B3 needs to draw, but it's very, somewhat hard for human to fight. Not to find you and fish, have a good time. Thanks all for, yeah, thanks all for hanging out. Good night, sleep well, and hoping to see you maybe at some point later on. Take care, fairy tale. So, yeah, King G3 and just a draw. Uh, just don't let me create an outside passer, because as I took, then I played H6, then G5, then I created an outside passer. And uh, this was a huge, huge blunder. Just go king of six with the idea of king e seven here, 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 here. And I'm just totally winning. Game over pretty much. King e three was a blunder here. Go for king g two. And the thing is, because the only way I can win this is going knight a four. But knight a four is, is king of three, it's a repetition. So I have to try something. But then it just goes here and it's a draw. And just a draw, I cannot make progress without going knight a four. That was a blunder. But king c was a blunder, then I finally found king of six. This knight of four, this is this, then I made this king walk. Uh, then okay. This was a mistake, I go for knight here. And if you would go c takes d, I go king d3. And if f4, I just take, take it this, and I'm winning. Uh, and that would be game over. This, again, that was a mistake, I had really nice idea. Knight of four with knight d5, and I'm winning. Uh, king h3, take, take this. That was a blunder. I go for king of four. And then after king h5, then I go knight c5, knight e4, oops, knight c, n mamma mia, uh, yes, so I have knight e4, and then I go like, I don't know, knight c5, push, and I'm winning, pretty much very simply, just like that, uh, and yeah, I just missed king g5, I thought king h5 is the only move, uh, I thought that was the best move, but I completely missed hit g5 lol yeah but i wasn't really laughing after that uh 94 i'm just winning i wasn't really laughing when he played king g5 because now if i take yes this 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 and this is with a draw uh, but okay, he played king of five. Yeah, I don't know why he thought I couldn't take b2. I just pre-moved with my knight all around the board. And then I think that was... Yeah, that wasn't really a mistake, to be honest. Uh, this was a huge blunder. Yeah, he just goes, but we both for super, super long time. He just has to move his bishop or b7 or b3 or a2, and he would be fine. For example, this, this, and I just can't make any progress. He just waits, and whenever I get like this, he just still waits. And if king d4, he just takes with simple draw. Because there I took, and then I went on to win. And three MPTZ. I'm like, I was like extremely, as I repeat one, once more, uh, I, I'm very happy with the game and not happy with it at the same time. 
I was like extremely happy how Clinton this spirit of morality bind, bind to bind, I'm not sure uh, how you pronounce it, where white gives you these dark squares and then with your knights you hop on and then you win, then you create outside fast and you win, yeah, um, then what I'm really not happy about in the game that I thought super super much on trying to find a way how to win, and I didn't. I did it, but I found I gave him chance to say just king of six. I just totally forgot about king of six right there. I mean, it was always hard to find a way how to, but yeah, just king king of six. It's game over. Um, and also, I'm not happy that I miscalculated that this is a sort of I'm forced to take, but then e5 and is fine. Apparently, it's not winning because this is it is some sort of this ready rule. Um, F2 we say draw. Um, but the thing is, is that here, here I have kinny form, and then, but yeah, this, and then I messed up, and I also miss king g5, I thought king g5, yeah, I, I mean, I pretty much, I, I keep trying to play duck chess OTV, but the duck refused to see it, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, and here I played knight c5, in my mind I already have played like king f4, so the g5 was an, an available square for him, and then I would be totally winning, but I messed up, and then, with 5 seconds versus 25, I somehow went on to win, and yeah. But I'm gonna end the stream, everybody, thanks also for watching, join the Discord to not miss some when stream and when stream. Also thanks a lot to Anonymous Gifted for gifting tier 1 to Bash Crazy Best and to Marco Batman. And also, Marco, congratulations with gaining 70 low points, winning the game and getting 10th place. Great job. Thanks a lot to everybody for the following as well. Thanks a lot as well to, to Cornelio for for playing the game 3 plus 0, he played extremely well. I'm not sure if you're still watching, but thanks a lot for the game. You played very well. Um, and yeah, everybody, thank you a lot for watching. I really hope you like the stream. Good game, good spiritual game, good positional game against life opening, decent puzzles, and very I am happy how I played against Sofish. Doing Kings India, like the most crazy stuff. If you don't know theory, you lose. I didn't know theory, but I didn't lose. Uh, so I'm very happy and see you tomorrow we start losing. Yep, take care everybody. Bye Vampire Ridge, bye Totally Journal, bye to Telemus, bye to Black Chick, bye Marco Batman, bye Karmar, bye Fairy Tail, bye Johnny D, bye uh, Diablo Co, bye 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 uh, Fairy Tail, bye Bilanches, bye Cornelio, thanks for playing, bye Biagio Biagio 92, bye Iman, bye Dark Outrage, bye uh, Give Me a Hiya, yeah. uh, uh, bye Chess Blizzard, and Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, Andy. Bye, Haskell, and pretty much Valros, and pretty much who was here. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and peace out.